Hey guys, this is going to be a short video on describing how to create static lights in Java 2D. So I started working on a new project yesterday and I was trying to get some lighting effects into the game and I'm just this video is just going to show you what I came up with so far. Um, so first let me just show you what it looks like. Now this is the game without the lighting effects. Um, it's It looks pretty bland uh, because I didn't really work on the tile sets that much. So they're pretty generic. But if we turn on the light map, we get something that looks, I think, pretty impressive. Um, <laughs> actually looks pretty cool. So uh, the light map here is what creates the lighting effect. This is like supposed to be a secret area, but you can hardly see it because there's no light. Also over here I haven't created enough lights in the map, so it's like pitch black. You can't see it. anything here. If I turn the turn it off and on. Anyway, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did for that. Um, so first off, I have a light map here, buffered image light map. Um, all the light map is is a uh, black screen. The light map is just a black screen with a bunch of transparent circles on it. Now these transparent circles act as like cutouts, I guess, so that you can see what's under uh, the light map. So for example, this black area here has an alpha value of 255, which means you can see you can't see anything through the light map here. This is completely invisible and the light map is completely blocking off anything. But the brighter areas like over here have lower alpha which means you can see through the light map and you can see the tile map behind it. Um, so that's basically what the light map is. It's just an overlay. It's a black overlay with transparency circles on it that create the light effect. Um, so back here, lights, I I created the tile uh, light map buffered image. All it is is um, I used the graphics object I just created, set the color to black, 255 alpha, and just filled the entire light map with that. And then after that, this is the important part, this is what actually creates the lighting effect. I set the graphics object for the light map to alpha composite destination out. Um, this is, I've never worked with alpha composites before and I really should have because um, it's actually really useful for blending images together. Um, so for example, uh, what destination out does is basically it subtracts from the destination alpha uh, whatever you're drawing onto it. So for example, the light map is all just 255, right? 255 alpha. And if I'm drawing a circle on top of it that has an alpha of 60, then it's going to subtract from the light map 60 alpha and give it 195. That means the light map is 195 alpha. You can partly see through it. So that's basically what I do. The light map is just a black screen and these lights are just cutout holes that I put into them. Um, so the way that I did the lights was uh, they're basically just concentric circles with a certain alpha value. So if you look here you can actually see that these are actually just a bunch of drawn circles obviously since they're they're transparent, the uh, circles in the middle are going to be brighter than the ones outside, so it gives a fading effect. So 
that's pretty much it. Um, the lights don't have to be circles. I mean, I could make them squares or arcs to give them like to make them directional lights or whatever. But the point is, um, you have to uh, edit the light map's alpha values. And the lower the alpha, the more you can see through the light map. So I'm just going to do a test here. Um, I'm going to ignore these guys. I didn't do any of the collision um, projectile collision yet for me. So I'm impervious. Anyway, um, right now I just have the lights manually set. So uh, I have to kind of ballpark every time I add new lights. So for example, down here, can't really see anything because there aren't any lights. But I'm going to add new lights down here. Um, let me just see what I can do about that. Again, I'm forced to ballpark it because I don't know what the coordinates are, but later obviously I'm going to have a some kind of map class that holds all the information, lights, tile maps, everything. So I guess this is about a thousand and eight hundred. I'm not really sure. This is going to be a big light, 250, and it's going to be very bright. I'm going to set it to 12. So let's see what that looks like. There should be a new bright light over in the area that wasn't lit before. Oh, here, turn this thing on. And there's the light down there. And it's in the wrong spot. And it's too big. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically the entire gist of the light map tutorial. This is static lights. These are static lights, remember? Um, so I'm not doing any dynamic lighting at all because Java 2D just does not handle dynamic lighting all that well. It doesn't handle alpha um, blending or processing uh, that great. If you want to use like dynamic lighting, you're better off using OpenGL like Joggle or Lightweight Java Library, the uh, game library. So yeah, but this is for simple static lighting and uh, I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you in another one, hopefully.